Welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors. I'm Chris. This year on the trip to North Carolina, Phil and I drew our tundra swan permits, and with Will's help, we were able to get a couple. So this is my bird right here. Just want to play this footage again because it was kind of cool. So I'm going to show you the two ways that I've cooked this particular swan. This first way, we're just making a stew. So Phil's cutting up the meat. He's going to cube it up into little chunks. We've got green peppers, onions, and these two cans of corn and the basil, garlic, oregano uh, tomatoes. We're going to add salt and pepper and these little potatoes. Make water, won't they? We let that bad boy cook about 12 hours on low. So my opinion of the meat on that particular cooking, that the meat was pretty tender. I wouldn't say very tender, but it was pretty tender. It was flaky, pretty flaky. And I would say that the meat was fairly neutral, almost bland in taste, and that it kind of really just took on whatever else was in your bite with the stew. So if you had a lot of green pepper, it was a little green peppery. If you had a lot of the tomato, it was a little tomatoey. So I would say it's a very neutral meat. It's not very strong in flavor, um, which is good because it doesn't taste like a nasty diver duck, but it's also not necessarily as good as, say, a mallard or a wood duck. So it, it takes on whatever you're cooking it with in that scenario. So I didn't get footage of actually eating the, the first pot, but ne the next day, leftovers... We had we had some rice to add into it, so very good. I would say I would say it's a a, a pretty good meat because it, it's not gross or it's not overly strong. It's not gamey or anything. It, it was really good actually. This piece I took home with me. We simply had it vacuum sealed and I wrapped it up in thermal underwear and had it in my carry on bag. No big deal. So because it's so thick, I sliced it kind of in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this one kind of regular and this one I've got marinated with kind of a Korean style marinade sesame oil this red pepper paste tamari and garlic pretty heavy on the garlic so after about 24 hours of marinating I'm gonna go ahead and grill this bad boy and I'm gonna grill the plain one the kind of way I would any other kind of meat black pepper Lowry's I got it on the grill. I'm gonna cook it a little bit slow because I actually, I don't like charred duck meat the way I would like charred beef. So I'm cooking it kinda of slowish to not get that charring. Here's the finished product. The inside still got a little bit of red to it. I thought the grilled meat was again, kind of just takes on what you're cooking it with because it is a very mild tasting meat, neutral-ish, blandish tasting meat. So whatever you put on it, that's what you're gonna be tasting really. I thought the way I grilled it it was a little bit chewy, not, um, not, not overly tender. I would think I would like to try it in a crock pot on a nice slow, you know, not in a stew, but just in a crock pot with some kind of a marinade or seasoning and try it like that. Maybe smoked would be a good way. I don't have a smoker, but maybe that would be a good way. Nice, long, slow, and maybe in, it won't be as chewy. So if you've ever cooked Tundra Swan, what's the favorite way you've done it? Put that in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.